In this video, we're going to talk about Beam, which offers serverless infrastructure for generative AI. It's kind of like AWS Lambda, but with GPUs. So at a high level, we can take our Python code that uses, say, transformers or torch and wrap it in a function. And that function then gets deployed onto Beam's infrastructure and is available to us via a HTTPS endpoint. So let's get to it. So the first thing we need to do is install the Beam CLI using the command from the docs. It should ask you to configure your credentials, but if not, call Beam configure and paste them in from the API keys page. These credentials will be saved under the Beam directory if you're using a Mac. The installer will also install the Beam PyPI package, but you can also do that manually by running pip install beam sdk. You'll also have to register a credit card on your account. And for me, it charged the card $5 and then immediately refunded it. And you can see the various charges for the amount of usage you have on the pricing page. So I'll put a link to that in the description. Now let's have a look at a little app that I want to deploy to Beam. So this app takes an audio file and returns a transcript as JSON. So let's have a quick look. So you can see at the top, we import from transformers, the pipeline function, we are importing torch as well. We then create a pipeline. So it's an automatic speech recognition pipeline and we're using the distill whisper model. And then if we come down a little bit, we can see our transcript functions. So that's going to take in an audio path. It creates the pipeline at the top. And then we call that pipe that we created. Uh, we're indicating the audio path, the chunk length, the batch size, and we're telling it we want to return timestamps, then we print out how long it took and return the output. And then if we scroll down a little bit more, you can see we're passing in an MP3 for a podcast about artificial intelligence. It's like an overview of what's going on. So let's update this file so that it's going to work with Beam. So let's go to the top and we'll import some f modules from Beam. Okay, then we need to define our Beam app. We'll give it a name. We can we specify the runtime. So we'll specify how many CPUs, the memory, which GPU we want to use. So the choice is T4, A10G or A100, so all NVIDIA. Then we need to specify the image that the container is going to use. We specify a Python version, which Python packages we're going to use. And because we need to use FFmpeg to unpack the audio file that we pass in, we also need to apt install FFmpeg as well. Let's then change the device from MPS to CUDA because MPS is for the Mac, CUDA for the NVIDIA GPUs. And then we're going to annotate our transcript function with app.restapi and we're going to pass in loader and pass in create pipeline. Now what that means is that it's going to call that create pipeline function just once on the startup of the deployment and then not every single time that we call our function. And then we'll update the input to be uh, star star inputs and then we'll pull it out the context that's going to be our pipeline and then we'll also pull out audio path so that's going to be where we pass in the link to the file let's now come over to another tab and we're going to just set this beam disable open browser to true because i don't want it to automatically open the beam dashboard and then we're going to call beam serve app.py this is basically the way that you can deploy your app but it's sort of in a state that it's going to kind of automatically sort of update it while you're effectively while you're testing it out and you can see when we run that, it builds a container, it uploads the files, it starts the container, and then it gives us invocation details. And then it says, hey, I'm ready for tasks. So I've put all of that into a file called call.py. You can see we've got the audio path at the top. We're creating our payload. We've then got a bunch of headers. The authorization key in there is the base64 encoding of our key and our secret. You see we've got a URL in there that came from the terminal. And then underneath, we're going to then call, uh, make a post request to that URL with the headers and the payload. And then we'll get the output and put it into data ai.json. So let's call that function. If we come back over to our other tab, you can see it says we're now running a task. You can see it says starting transcription and then the MP3. Let's speed it up for the video and it finishes in just over 50 seconds. We can then have a look at the chunks that are in the files. So you can see we've got the timestamps and the text. And we can also have a look at the entire text transcript as well. If we're then happy with our function, we can then stop this server will say, hey, do you want to stop? Yes, I do. And then we can deploy it instead. And you can see that's then deployed successfully. Let's copy the dashboard URL and paste it into our browser. And now we'll just come back to our call.py and we'll update the URL. So now we've got like a proper, proper URL because it's deployed. And then we'll come back to the dashboard. And let's hit refresh on the listening for logs. And you can see, there we go, the, the, it's starting up. You can see we are now trying to transcribe the file again. 
We can also click through and have a look at the running tasks. You can see we've got just the one task there and you can see the logs are in here as well. And if we speed it up, uh, we can see that it's now done with the transcription. If we go back to the logs page, we can see the same message in there. And if you look on the overview, we can see an overview of what's happening and also it's got the same message in there. There are also various metrics that we can see on the metrics tab. So I've only played around with this for a little while, but it looks pretty cool so far. And I think this could be a great tool for deploying small models that do just one task. If you want to learn more about that, check out this video up here where I demo LLMware's Slim Model Series.